Welcome to Electron Online, and here's the fifth video on how to use synthetic division. And here we're actually going to find the roots of a third order polynomial using synthetic division. So let's say we have a function equals to x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 6. What are the roots of that function? Well, let's see here. If we think about it, if we were to graph this out, we probably get something that looks like this. And there are two, three places where the function will cross the x-axis, and those are the places we're interested in. What are the x-values of those places? Of course, that's not a true representation of this function, just to give you an example. And how do we find that? Well, we can kind of guess. We could say, um, let the first try, I'm going to use uh, minus 1 and see if that works. All right, so I plug in the uh, coefficients, 1, 4, 1, and minus 6. My division sign, I use my first try, Put the line down here and just quickly go through the maneuver of how to find the roots. We drop the 1 down. 1 times the negative 1 is negative 1. Add it together, we get 3. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Add them together, you get negative 2. Negative 2 times the negative 1 is 2. Add them together, you get negative 4. And you can see it's not 0, so that was not one of the roots. Okay, let's try positive 1. And again, we put in our coefficients. 1, 4, 1, negative 6. Then our division sign. Uh, now it's a positive 1, put our line down here, drop the first number, 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 times 1 is 5, 1 times 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 times 1 is 6, and look at that, that adds up to 0, and we say bingo, we found one of the roots, the root is plus 1, that means x equals 1 is one of the roots, and so that means our polynomial now can be written as f of x, is equal to, since that's one of the roots, it would be x minus 1 times what's remaining here would be right here, that would be x squared plus 5x plus 6. And of course, to continue then, we need to find the roots of this part of the polynomial. Now, that is actually relatively easy because we know how to um, factor that. So this can be written as x minus 1 times, we get an x and an x, a plus, and a plus. And of course, I need two numbers. When you add them, you get 5. When you multiply them, you get 6. And that would, of course, be uh, 2 and 3. That means x equals minus 2, and x equals minus 3 are the other two roots. So what's so nice about synthetic division is that this is the first root that's very difficult to find. Once you have it down to x minus something times a polynomial of second order, then the rest is easier to find. But it's that first root that's hard to find. And using synthetic division, you can see how you can find the root. In the next video, I can actually show you how you can actually zero in on the correct root using synthetic division. So I'll show you another example next.